The Human Microbiome Project uh, is a research project that was started by the National Institutes of Health several years ago uh, to figure out what bacteria are in different areas of the body in normal, healthy people. Uh, it takes advantage of the fact that we have recently developed uh, techniques to look at bacteria that aren't able to be cultured. Uh, the uh, bacteria in the body, uh, most of them actually can't be cultured uh, and we need to use uh, sequencing technology that detects the DNA of the bacteria and can identify it. So the Human Microbiome Project has looked uh, in various body sites uh, in uh, healthy volunteers across the country to figure out what bacteria are in, uh, in the human body and to help uh, figure out uh, then how things change in disease. So the lung microbiome uh, started later than the human microbiome project. It was initially thought that the lung was sterile and didn't have any bacteria, so it was not included as one of the body sites studied in the original human microbiome. So uh, lung studies are a few years behind uh, in uh, several of the other uh, body sites. The lung microbiome project uh, is a multi-center study, uh, and UPMC is one of the sites um, where we're looking uh, to determine the bacteria that are in the lung uh, uh, when people are healthy and then how it changes in people uh, with conditions like HIV or COPD. Um, so far we've found that uh, unlike what people thought that the lung is not actually sterile uh, that there are bacteria in there in the healthy host that are probably uh, swallowed down or aspirated uh, from, uh, from the mouth um, uh, and that there may be changes both in the mouth bacteria and in the lung bacteria in various diseases. Uh, the clinical implications of this are that you know some lung diseases that we previously thought uh, did not have an infectious component may actually have changes uh, in the bacteria that we can detect and that they could be treated with things like antibiotics in the future.